What's going on guys, I'm Jason Park. I'm a feature filmmaker with Hyper2 Productions. I've made four feature films and we're working on our fifth. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about 10 bad filmmaking advice, right? This is for everyone that's starting out that's about to make their first feature or their first short. And I just wanted to give you some advice on what I think it, it are the top 10 bad filmmaking advices for anybody, right? And, and someone that's made films, they may disagree because that necessarily works or doesn't work for their process. But for my process, these are the things that I find to be just bad advice. Number one, film in one location. I think this is absolutely horrible advice. Um, there are some films that have pulled it off, but most films, especially on an indie level, filming in one location becomes very cumbersome and boring. And it doesn't really add uh, too many dynamics to your film. It doesn't matter how great your film looks and sounds. If it's boring, nobody's gonna watch it. We've all seen many films that were shot with A-list actors, had a big budget, shot on the best camera with the best microphones and sound effects and team, and you just didn't enjoy watching them. So number one is filming in one location. Number two, uh, you need the latest and greatest and best camera. If you have a camera, any camera, within the last four to five years and it shoots 4K, you can literally uh, film a beautiful looking project um, with you know a zoom lens or one lens, 35 mil that you know you bring up close if you need to get a close up. The cameras just don't matter nowadays. If you're talking about 15 years ago, yeah, sure, there's there's been leaps in technology. But if you're talking about within the last four to five years, it doesn't matter if you shoot on a Blackmagic 4K or you shoot on Ari Alexa. It just, the story is king, right? The story is king. Number three, you need to wait for everything to be right. If you wait for everything to be right and you get the right financing with the right actors and all this stuff, your film may never get made. And I always say this, it's better to have a shitty film than a great script that's never made. Think about that. It's better to have a film that's crappy that you tried, you learned, you gained experience from, and you made something, which in turn builds your confidence, compared to having the most prolific, best script ever written that never gets made. So really think about number three. Number four, uh, don't hire your friends. I think making films, especially on an independent level with your friends is the best thing that you can do. I think that, you know, grab your friends, go on a weekend and just shoot stuff. That is going to take you a lot farther than waiting for the opportunity to go make something. Go grab your friends, grab your family members, create stories and go make your movies. Don't wait. You don't need professional actors. You don't need professional crew. Go make your movies and you will become the professional, right? Number five. You need to have connections. In 2024, if you have connections, getting to the biggest stage is a lot easier. But having connections, you don't necessarily need to have connections in order to make content, to make films, feature films, short films, web series, TV shows. You don't need connections when you have platforms like YouTube, you have Film Hub where you can load your films up and you can get it on Amazon Prime or Tubi or any of these other uh, stations, Roku, um, and have the potential to get it into even bigger platforms. You don't need uh, the connections anymore to get an audience to see it. You just need to have your film and market your film. It doesn't even necessarily have to be a great film, right, to have an audience. It doesn't necessarily need to be a great film to have an audience. And at the end of the day, as long as your film it, it, it brings enjoyment or, or allows an audience members to have an emotion, then you've done your job as a filmmaker. Number six, this is piggybacking off of number five. Your film, you, your, your first film, you, you have to make a, a great film. Like some, the rare occasions, they may make a great film on their first try. But myself, I didn't make a great film, a great looking film, uh, a story wise or anything on my first film. But what it did was give me the confidence to go make a second film, go make a third film, go make a fourth film. 
it gave me the confidence to continue to make films and every film you get better. So don't worry if your first film is, you know, the greatest film ever. Just worry about making the film and completing the film because that's going to allow you to build momentum to making your next film. So number seven, right? Ooh, that went really fast. But number seven, some bad advice that I've heard is that, you know, video quality is king. And I'm going to disagree on that because I think audio quality is king. And I always say that with video quality is what you see, but audio quality is what you feel, right? And with, with film, we're trying to capture and pull emotions. We're trying to make that person experience something and feel something when they watch your project. So audio is king. Now, of course, you want to have good story, good visuals, good audio. Everyone wants that. When you're shooting an indie film, you don't have as much time, so you kind of have to cut corners sometimes. But if I were to put the three in order, it would be story, audio, visual, right? So you can shoot a project on your cell phone with, fan with a good story and fantastic audio, and people will watch it because content every day is being uploaded uh, with cell phones, and we watch it just fine. So number eight is, you know, you need to have financing to go and make your project. As long as you have a camera, a cell phone, and you have some friends, you can go make a project. You can go make a film. You can go make a web series. You can do anything. But you, the filmmaker, the writer, the director, you have to put the effort in and get that ball rolling because nobody's going to get that ball rolling for you. Number nine, right? Number nine is having a lot of views on something on a project will get you meetings or open doors for you. And I don't necessarily know if that is true. And if it is true, what are the numbers that they're talking about? Are you talking about 100,000, 500,000, 5 million, right? Uh, Right now, one of my films has 600,000 views and, you know, there's no meetings, there's no doors open, no one's emailing me or messaging me. You still have to do all that hustling yourself. Some people may get the golden ticket, you know, someone may accept their project to a film festival and someone at CAA sees it and they take them under the wing and then they, the doors are open. That may happen for some, but for the most of us, it's probably not going to happen. Not to say that it can. So number 10 of bad advice, and I put this up there with everything, is that you can't do it. You can't do it without connections, you can't do it without money, you can't do it without, without all of this stuff. People tend to put their fears and their lack of execution onto you. I'm here to tell you that you can. You can do it. You, cre you can create your feature film. You can cast actors you can you know go out there with shoestring budget enough to feed people and, and get the location and shoot your film you can you absolutely can you don't need the latest and greatest camera you don't need the latest and greatest audio equipment you don't need the latest and greatest lights you just need a vision you need discipline and you need grit to go out there and start working on your project I'm Jason Park with Hyper2 Productions. I hope that uh, this list doesn't discourage you, but encourages you to go and work on your project. You're going to hear a lot of opinions on YouTube and your circle on, on Facebook groups and forums and Reddit. But at the end, the only thing that matters is that you did it. Doesn't matter if it's a short, doesn't matter if it's a feature, web series, it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is that you did it.